Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, the Empress Wagwan. So today I am here to give you a little hairstyle tutorial and this one it's just to, you know, as you can see, um, I try to, I'm trying to protect my hair in itself and um, I chose this hairstyle so I hope you'll like it. If you're new here, welcome and you know, do subscribe and join the family. If you're not new here, welcome back and Wagwan, how you doing? Hi girly whirly, so I recently pulled out some twists that I had and um, just you know stretching my hair prepping my hair actually for the style and then using my mixture of oils that I made to you know oil my scalp I try not to use a lot and keep it in the middle so that I could massage it into my scalp and spread it all over as opposed to you know using a lot and then you know it's running all over the back of your neck and in your face and stuff like that but you do know you gotta do the edges make sure that goes back and all of that so gotta make sure your hair is taken care of underneath the style so what you see right there looks nasty but it's actually because I oiled my hair and then I used the other hair product on it the shine and jam so it gave it that look so trust that it's okay all you have to do is wipe it off right so I already went ahead and did the back of my head you know just for video purposes but it did not take long at all so I'm using medium parting to get these braids or natural twists as opposed to small or too big because I have 4C hair right and um, it's pretty thick so I don't really want to do too large of a braid because then you will see it try to poke out and stuff like that and we're not trying to have that and the bigger the the bigger the parking the more hair you have to use in each section and I only wanted to limit, I wanted to make it so natural as to limit the amount of braid I use for each part. So what I did was I put, I made the parting, I detangled my hair as you saw, but I also tried to put, not but, and I also tried to use the shine and jam on the root so that everything could be slicked in and notice that I moisturized it or rubbed it in to the hair and then I used rubber bands now the rubber bands is just to make it easier for the braid to stay at the root because that's a big problem of mine like I'm not a big braider where everything stays at the root so the rubber band really helps you know in terms of keeping everything staying steadfast so, yeah, I'm just going to do that for the rest of my head. And, yeah, don't judge me also. Don't judge me if my parting in the back is not A1. I tried my best, all right? So, um, let's continue the video. So one thing to keep in mind with this hairstyle, or any hairstyle for, the, for that matter, is um, when you're using rubber bands or when you're doing any hairstyle, you do want to make sure that you're taking your time with the roots. You don't want to make sure that, you know, everything is all slicked in and the rubber band is tight. You want to feel comfortable. Not, that, not only that you want to feel comfortable, but you want to make sure that you have your edges after this temporary and emphasis on temporary hairstyle so the main reason for this 
hairstyle is for protection you're protecting your hair so you just want to know that when you decide to take this hair out that everything is all growing and not damaged all right we need growth and healthy so the shine and jam though i know it makes your hair look all slick in which is great and that's why i love it even though it's giving me all that extra gunk at the root you know i'll just easily wipe that off um so it's not tight at all and for me i'm very tender headed so anything with tight uh-uh not me honey not me so I'm using this natural braiding here. It comes with a pack of two in there and um, it's not exactly my hair texture, but because I'm using the shine and jam, it really does, you know, blends in well with it. But you know, that part that I'm cutting off, we don't need that part. It's too straight and that's not gonna help at all. So I cut that off and then I'm using one hair strand and it's separated by an elastic band one per braid i mean i could have used two just to make it a little bit more bulky but for me i don't really wear my hair down for the most part so i know that i'm gonna put it up in a bun so that is why i did it one per part <laughs> sorry i had a braid freeze just now but i used one per section so that um i'll be able to have a natural updo when I'm finished with this hairstyle. So all you're gonna need for this part is your crochet needle and you're just gonna pull it right through the center of your section and then pull it through, right? When you pull it through, you're just going to tighten the roots a little bit if it's slack or if it's not tight enough and then twist it so how you're gonna twist it is you're going to tighten the twist with both strands so make the strands a little tight while twisting it don't twist it loosely because you want the twist to stay um, later on down the line you see that I had to like manipulate the hair so that the twists will stay in place so twist it tightly and then especially at the end of your natural hair you make sure to add some shine and jam at the end so that it will blend and stay in the actual hair itself in the extension all right i use the hair grease at the end of the extension when i'm about finished just to make sure that everything stays in place i really don't or wouldn't want to waste my hair jam so i used the hair grease and don't sleep on hair grease and don't th and think that oh because it's hair grease you're going to use it on the extension no because hair grease is expensive and that's what my mama used to use growing up and before all these extra products and all these different fancy things hair grease used to grow my hair bow so don't sleep on hair grease and that's Dax for you so I like Dax I like do magic too okay we're off tangent so focus let's do another one so remember we're going to stretch the ends because we had cut one part of it because it was too straight we don't want it straight because if it's straight then it's gonna unravel so we stretch stretch it not only that you don't want it straight but you want it to be able to you know go to the length that you actually want it to so that's two reasons why you're going to stretch it and then now you repeat the same process you put it through the middle if you feel like you want to use extra hair you could do that that's your business hi Tabitha you could do that but and that's all also if you do it a little bit bigger than my section or how thick your hair is but you know you could stick with one see I didn't even make sure that both hair is lined up evenly and that's one thing also you want to avoid 
because then one part is going to be finished before the other. You got to make sure it's lined up, honey. Focus, focus, Shan, focus. So, right, you make sure it's full, you make sure it's even, and then you go ahead and you twist it. Make sure to twist it tightly. Don't forget. It's so funny, you know a lot of people thought that this hair was my real hair. And I was like, I need to do this style more often, you know? I mean I'm not I'm not catfishing or anything, but you know, it makes the twist look so chunky and it, it's so natural looking that it looks like it's your hair. I mean, hmm. Do you think I should rock this style another time? Let me know in the comments below. I like how yeah, I like how chunky it looks. Not too chunky, not too thin. You know enough to match your own natural texture and to be able to like pull it off like it's mine and I'm not gonna say it's not mine of course I paid for it didn't I so you know my natural hair is long <laughs> it's long it's healthy all right you see how I'm telling you you have to wipe it out it looks so gross so in the rest of it the rest of the video I'm wiping it out don't worry trust me so I'm getting rid of all this white gunk out of the scalp because I mean it's not cute but I have to oil my hair and unfortunately both the jam and the um, hair oils don't work together so it's finished kinda just trying to see how I wear it and this is how I actually wore it right to give it that natural look that's how I actually wore it for the rest of the style. Kid you not. And I was good for work. I didn't even budge to change it at all. That was like a quick... It, 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 it actually shaved some time getting ready in the mornings actually. Because once I had my hair up and I was like... I took my bonnet off, made sure that my edges are in and everything. I was good for two weeks. You know? So... I think I may do it again. It's very it's very good on saving time. So you see where I told you that I had a problem with with it unraveling because my hair is thick and also the twists did not remain tight. So what I did was I put elastic bands on the end, make sure that I line it up with my shoulder, and then I cut the ends after. You know, give it that nice clean look. So I did that for the rest of it and you see how the twist stayed in place so yeah make sure you put rubber bands on the ends all right and then trim up whatever hair that you see that's loose so that's also another reason why you would want to stretch the hair because you don't want any blunt hair like poking out and saying hello and then you have to search for it and cut it I can, I can move my eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching, and um, let me know how you like it in the comments below. All right.